Welcome to Spellshot, a up-and-coming roguelike first-person shooter that is going to be available for you to play during Steam Next Fest. I always enjoy the kind of retro feeling of shooters like this, uh, at least from an aesthetic standpoint. Uh, so we got a little bit of a uh, Call of Duty uh, base building aspect. That was pretty cool. Didn't expect that. Build all my walls back up so the zombies can't just easily walk in and kill me. <clears throat> I think that was the only two doors, and I don't have a thousand bucks, so I cannot update the new room. So here's where the roguelite portion comes. Basically, as you finish the round, you're going to get additional items here. I'm only going to use one because I don't have a lot of cash, and I want to really update the next... I want to go to the next room. I feel like there's going to be some hidden goodies in there. So the way it works with that magic bullet is that first bullet is the one that actually has the money shot. The fireball shot, basically. Ooh, so my build, I did bad. Alright, that, that was that was terrible. <clears throat> Trying to get, get back into it really easily. Combat is pretty smooth, it's pretty simple, it's not anything crazy. If you've played a first-person shooter, you're gonna feel right at home here. It almost seems as it would be the best idea to actually let them destroy these uh, little doorways, no matter what, because the amount of cash you get for it is pretty high, considering. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna buy any of these things, because <clears throat> I don't want to spend any cash. I want to kind of hold off until I can open this door right here. Just... Oh, I can open the door already. Well, I feel silly. Now that I got all this extra room, I feel a little bit more safe. I obviously <clears throat> made some bad decisions there. So there isn't really a reload mechanic, it just... You gotta shoot all of your shots before you can... Kinda push ahead. How many walls they tore down... I don't think it was many. I don't see any weapons, though. Not being able to buy a new weapon is kind of a disappointment, because this gun is just kind of acceptable. And to go upstairs, I think I need a thousand gold, which I definitely don't have, if my math is correct, which it is. <clears throat> and apparently I don't get money for... Rebuilding the wall. Uh, I guess it's only when the combat's actually happening. Oh, huh? well, we got some new stuff here. Uh, let's see, my knife damage, increase my health, or discount every spell. Consider those didn't cost anything. I'm going to go with those. Alright, this, this could potentially be a good choice. Uh, on hit, deal 25. 
So your shield, if active, deal five damage to your health. If not, uh, you know, I just I'm gonna go with nothing again because I feel like I don't want to put myself in that bad situation. They will help you acquire more powerful gems. Well, that would be cool, except I've only seen one so far. <clears throat> I can't afford it. Melee combat is not good. It's bad. And then I get a shot from hit from behind. So basically, this is it. This is kind of what it is. You just run around, you shoot things, you uh, keep going. If you die, you start over. At round one, I've got no door open. The door is closed. Yeah, so you get uh, you can get some points for fixing these doors while enemies are present. So the kind of the trick here, I think, is going to be to convince him to follow you. Never mind. It works like like for the first time, and then that's it. I think I'm at least at 500. No, I am not. Well, that sucks. Uh, this time, I guess I'm just gonna just kind of shoot through everybody, and I'm gonna try to just get upstairs. See if I can earn the uh, the thousand that I need. Despite the simplicity of combat, it is pretty satisfying. Oh, I can go upstairs. Alright. Progress. <clears throat> but if there's no guns up there, then it just kind of... Like, what's the point? It's gone too long without having additional weaponry. Another door for a thousand. No weapons up here. It's still just the same thing. I know that I get some stuff, but it just not that cool. Spell level up. I'm not using any spells so that probably won't do me any good, so I will do wing boots to go a bit faster. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I can afford one weapon, but I don't like any of them. So, round three enemies start to take a little bit more damage. You can kind of dodge by them with your slide. Which is pretty cool. Nice little mechanic. And you can honestly just kind of kite them around on one little corner, which makes it kind of easy to just shoot them without worrying about dying. There's really no need to aim down the sights. <clears throat> You're going to do the same amount of damage that you will do if you just kind of hip fire, so. I'm only going to repair as many doors as it takes to actually get some coins. If I don't get enough coins, I'm not going to keep doing it. 
Like, yeah, no more coins, so I'm just gonna end the round. <sighs> Sales for twice as much gold. I'm not really selling anything, so I don't really know how this would be actually useful for me. Uh, an ice hammer doesn't seem like it would be any good. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh and see what I excuse me, get here, and, um... Nothing. I'm just gonna go with this. We'll just... See what happens. See if that's any <clears throat> any good. Yeah, going upstairs was a bad choice. Kind of got myself into a <clears throat> uh, kind of a kind of a bad situation. Oh wow! I survived that. I'm so proud of myself. That was that was just an amazing stroke of luck. Once you run out of mana, you have to rely on your knife. Well, I don't seem to run out of mana, so I mean, I'm not real concerned about that. Now that I found this kind of cheesy way. Oh, never mind. That was quite I figured out, like, well, you do run out of mana. So, there you go. I would say that's pretty much the game. That's Spell Shot. Available right now during Steam Next Fest, which officially starts on the 19th. But the demo is available now because the developer's cool and wants people to try this game or her game or their game. doesn't matter. It is a game available for you to play today. So if you like roguelike shooters and Call of Duty style uh, zombie mode where you have to defend yourself in a, in a room, uh, it's pretty, it's, it's fun. I think there's a lot left to really see and experience, but uh, it's at least a good kind of idea of what to expect. Thanks for watching. If you like the game, wishlist to play the demo. Have a great day.